Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to go through a quick summary on the home buying process for those of you who don't know where to start in the home buying process. So sit back and stay tuned. Welcome back to our channel, Oahu Homes. I'm Ashley, this is Shannon. We are local real estate agents here on Oahu. We serve veterans, first time home buyers, seasoned buyers, sellers, investors, you name it, we help them. We're on a top producing team called the Turnkey Group with EXP Realty. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you can stay up to date with all of our videos having to do with real estate here on the island of Oahu. In today's video, we're doing something a little different. Today's video is going to be for those first time home buyers that don't know where to begin in the home buying process. So let's jump right into it on how to buy a home here in Oahu. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a real estate agent and you can ask your friends and family for a referral you can find them at open houses or we've made it super easy for you and you can click the link below to work with us we'd love to help you working with us you get a team format which is in my opinion the best route because you basically get two agents for the price of one getting pre-approved for a mortgage will help you determine how much a lender is willing to let you borrow this is important in determining your monthly budget, which should include both principal and interest, as well as home insurance and property taxes and other utilities. But what's not included in the pre-approval process is how much you enjoy going out on the weekends or doing your favorite hobbies or drinking with the boys. So unless you wanna be eating ramen for the rest of your life, you need to take into consideration all of these things when determining your monthly budget. Pro tip, if you are working with a lender, we suggest using a local lender rather than a mainland lender. This is because of the time difference and they tend to understand our market a lot better. Once you're pre-approved, it's time for the consultation. For most people, home buying is gonna be the biggest purchase of their life. So we believe that our clients deserve at least one hour where we go through everything, including escrow, what the home buying process looks like, and setting expectations with your real estate agent is really important as well. Now it's time for the fun stuff. So now it's time to go on showings with your agent. This is the time that you go and look at various houses that are of interest. Uh, what we'd like to suggest for first time home buyers is that this is not gonna be a perfect forever home. So it's important that you prioritize a home that meets most of your needs and is within your budget. When you finally find the home that you wanna offer on, your real estate agent will help make that offer with you, including the purchase price, contingencies, and the closing date. What I suggest is that you also request a mortgage estimate from your lender to make sure that the house is within your budget. Two things I like to remind my clients is that one, you're not dropping $600,000 today, so don't worry about the purchase price too much. And two, there are multiple times in escrow when you can cancel, so don't get too afraid about putting that offer in on the home that you like. Now let's say that you just got your offer accepted. Congratulations, you're about to enter escrow. Once you're in escrow, a couple things are gonna happen. In the beginning, it's gonna move very quickly for the buyer. You will need to submit your initial earnest money deposit, which is basically telling the sale seller that you came to play ball. Other things that will happen during escrow would be the review of other documents, the home inspection, termite inspection, as well as the appraisal. Um, throughout the escrow process, you will also further negotiate in the sale. And there's also a bunch of other steps that happen, but trust me, you're almost there, so hang in. Once you completed all the necessary steps in the home buying process, it's time to close on your home. This involves signing some paperwork and paying some closing costs, but it's all gonna be worth it once you get those keys in your hand. Buying a home can be a complex process, but now that you know all the steps that it takes, all you have to do is take a leap of faith, build your team, and create a plan that's gonna help you get there. If you liked today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
have a great day. <laughs> <laughs>